Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install an invisible zipper, just like this one right here. And I'm going to be making a pillow, which I'm going to do another video about, but I'm going to show you how to do the zipper on it. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is lay the zipper out like this, and I'm going to unzip it, and we're actually going to flip it over so the right side is facing down. And I'm going to iron the coils open. Here's a little closer up view of the coils. And this is, I still have the right side down. And so see how I'm kind of rolling the coil open? That's kind of what we're going to do with the iron. So let me grab my iron. We're just going to kind of push it open. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm just going to do this down the entire strip of my zipper. And make sure your heat isn't very high because you don't want to melt the coils because then your zipper won't work. Okay guys, so this next part might be where you get tripped up on. So pay close attention. Uh, first we're going to pin the zipper to the fabric. So I've already started pinning. And let me show you what I did. So here is the front of my fabric and this is also the front of my pillow. So I'm going to say this is the right side of my pillow. And then my back piece of the pillow is going to be my left side of the pillow. And so we also have, if the zipper is laying face up, I have the right side of the zipper and I have the left side of the zipper. And this is while it's face up. So what I've done is, let me turn it back over. I have placed face down, let me show you, face down I have the zipper on top of my right piece and I have just pinned the right piece remember that when the zipper is facing up the right piece is right here but when you flip it over it's gonna be the left piece but you still want that right piece so I just pinned those together so I have the right side of the zipper pinned to the right side of the fabric so when I go to do the next piece here I have my left side of the zipper still hanging here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and we are going to be dragging the rest of our um, the rest of our fabric. So I'm turning that over so we have the right size touching on that. And this is the right side of my fabric as well. And so I'm going to pin that. So here I have, these are both the right sides of my fabric. And here's my zipper, so when I zip it up, and remember I still have it pinned, you can see that that is how it will kind of look when I have um, it sewn together. You're now ready to sew it. And the first thing we need to do is switch out the foot um, on the sewing machine. So I'm just going to push the button in the back and take this one off. And for my machine, this is foot I, and this is going to be the um, foot we use to put a zipper on. I believe it's called, they call it a zipper foot. I'm not sure if they call it that for this machine or not. But I'm just going to, whatever side I'm sewing is what side I'm going to put it on. So right now I'm going to be sewing the left side. So I'm going to have the um, needle, needle on the left side and that's just going to make sure we aren't sewing the coils we're just sewing the fabric of the zipper onto the fabric. The closer the coil the better um, the invisible part of this zipper will be but you don't want to stitch a coil or that will ruin the zipper so you want to be pretty careful when you are doing this so just take it nice and slowly and We'll see from there. And you also want to make sure this little tab right here, you don't sew that because that could definitely break your needle. When you're ready to sew the other side of your zipper, you just need to switch sides of the foot you're using. Once you've switched sides, then you'll see that the needle is actually over the foot. So you want to move um, the needle all the way over to the right. So you can do that up here. All you need to do is press this button over here and I'm going to add and you can hear that it's moving and I'm just going to add until we reach 7 and that's the highest my machine will go. So now I'm ready to sew again on the other side. Once you're done sewing on your zipper, you are done putting in an invisible zipper. 
The next thing, um, you might want to iron it um, and just make it look crisp. This is how mine turned out. I'm very pleased with it. Um, so it just comes up and down, just like a zipper should. And you might have noticed that mine is actually, my zipper that I used was actually a little bit longer um, than my actual fabric. So I just wanted to mention that if that case ever happens where you just either buy the wrong one or that's all you have at the time and you really want to do your project and get it done, um, you can still use it. And all you have to do is sew over the point where you want it to end. And you can back stitch a couple of times. So I just sewed over it a few times, um, back and forth, probably three or four times. And key is making sure that your zipper is down so that it, you're not sewing it off, of course. So just make sure you do that. But then after that, all you have to do is cut those pieces off and you are, you have the right size zipper. So if you ever have access, excess zipper or anything like that, that's what you can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this helped you. See you again next time. Bye.